Hello friends, it's Sandra from Wallifier.com and WimsonDreamsClipart.com. In this tutorial we are going to create a cute watercolor uh, wallpaper for your computer. And we are going to use Canva and a hand-drawn clip art from Whimsy Dreams clip art shop. So you find everything for this tutorial, all the links down in the description. And if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. We start out by going to create a design here at the top. And we search for wallpaper. And choose a desktop wallpaper. To start out we are uh, going to apply a background to this design and we go to elements and scroll down to grids and colors here. You can choose your own color here in the color wheel. I pre-selected a uh, color, so I go with this cream color here, which I think will look fantastic with the watercolors. So I will drop the hex code to this one if you need it. Just check the description below. Now the fun starts. We go to uploads and I have uploaded the watercolor winter florals pack. You find them in my Whimsy Dreams clip art shop. Or you can of course use uh, your favorite clip part. You don't have to use mine of course. But for this tutorial we are going to stick with the winter florals. So to apply these we are going to need some bounding boxes for these graphics. So I'm just adding here a few of them. Like this and like this. You can also click one, hold the ALT key and drag and duplicate. Or use the duplicate button here to make this process even faster. Now we go back to uploads and you choose your favorite design. If you want to go with a black or with a blue or mix them, it's all up to you. So choose your favorites here. To upload them you just click on the upload an image or video here and find your downloaded graphics on your computer and just upload them here. So no worries there. Now I click and drag it my favorites into the box here. The boxes <laughs> I might say. I choose uh, maybe I try this one like this. Just scoop these aside. Now I am um, be sure to check that your bounding box doesn't, you know, cut the edges of your watercolor in any way. This <laughs> this can happen. Then you double click and you drag the watercolor into the position like this. And I will apply it here. And I do the same here. You see it's all cut off at the top here. So I double click and I drag it down like this. And I want it smaller like this. It's a little bit tricky to get it to fit. But just play around with it until you are satisfied with the results. Like this. I will place a quote here. Uh, just, you know, an inspirational quote. Something, your words that you like or you get inspired by. It's a perfect place as you open your computer in the morning. You find a encouraging quote there. So. You go to text and just choose uh, the quote uh, template here. It's a free text block that you can use like this. And 
And here you can change the text to whichever one you want. You can change the font as well. And I choose the Quattrocento. Like this. And change the color to a dark brown because I'm all into dark browns. <laughs> You find the hex code down below in the description as well. And I will leave this space here open for, you know, uh, desktop apps and stuff like that. I don't want, you know, flowers and stuff to interfere with um, the, the app icons. I find it so hard to, you know, find your apps if your background is too busy. And then you go to download choose PNG here and just download like this as we all have different computers uh, I would suggest that you go to your screen settings and find the background picture you know to upload this little picture to and voila you have your a beautiful watercolor screen saver or your wallpaper background for your computer and now you have this you know beautiful text that you can uh, change whenever you feel like and you can change the graphics as well move them around just to keep things fun you can also change uh, the the graphics to fit the season maybe you want to add some you know cute pumpkins or whatever so this is a really fun way to keep your uh, workday a little bit more fun. So if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And please feel free to join the Facebook community as well, as we share lots of fun, you know, tips and tricks about how to use Canva for crafting and designing. you find the link below. See you there and see you in the next video. Bye bye.